Kerbal. Sean. Me. Kerbal. Andrew. Hi. Hi, Sean. Hi, Andrew. Yeah, that's my name. You didn't say it very well, but that's my name. Andrew. It is Andrew. Your name is Andrew. Yeah, it is. Thanks. It's... You're welcome. So this game, right, we're looking at a game. We don't normally look at games. No. Not in a long time. Uh, this is a really great game. I, I might as well just show it you to explain what it is. That's Kerbal, that planet there. It looks oddly familiar. I'm not sure if the mouse is being recorded, but let's, I don't think it is. <laughs> That's Kerbal. Load my save up. So, I think we what, what is this then? What is probably best start off in in the vehicle assembly building. This is a space center. You build spaceships, kind of like in the Spore Creature Creator. Okay. And then you launch them into space. So I, I will demonstrate. What, do you, do, you with, do that in, in Spore? Do you launch the creatures into space? Yeah. Do yeah. you? You do. You get to the space age and you you build a UFO and you launch it into space and then you fly around to the worlds. Cool. So you, I have a bunch a... of ships here. I think Cog... This might be one of my earliest ships. Cogbox. Yes. I needed a name. Cogbox And four. everything is kind of Kerbal related. Oh. They're, they're called Kerbal. Well, it's like two barrels on stilts. It's a very early, early on design here. Bad design. Yeah. Actually, because... Uh, right, so <clears throat> you have all your parts on the left here. Okay. All right, these liquid fuel engines and stuff. And then on the right hand side you have your stages and you can you know add stages and move things around so that they go off when you want them to go off. Okay. So at the moment I have these struts set to release uh, before the engines are even on, which is a bad idea. <laughs> and then uh, then these engines fire, you can see them highlighting. Mm -hmm. And then the next one uh the next one is some th these I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah. These little bits here detach. Oh, they're they're held on, but yeah, these guys. And then then there's a parachute on top that opens. I was trying to get into space. If I hit launch, this thing didn't get into space. Oh wait, hang on. The flying the did flying it? thing? No, I don't think it did. I think Cogbox Five was the first one that achieved orbit. I think. So we give it a minute to. Load and decide the frame rate's good again. Uh, so yeah, hit that. They release. The oh. engines aren't even on yet. No, it's just bouncing on there. I hit this again. The engines are on, right? Uh, I don't have yeah. Any sound. Yeah, there is. Tell. There is. There is sound. I think. Bad frame rate for some reason. Always really bad frame rate near the. It is. Though. It is flying. It's terrible. Yeah. So it gets in the air. You've got your height up at the top there. Really bad frame rate. On like the ground. Re really near the ground, and then it goes fine. There it goes. Oh, and uh, I turn on the stability thing, and that it, SAS it's, it's it tries sort of... to keep my... You see that little gimbal down there? Yeah. It's trying to keep course. You see on the far left, my fuel's running yeah. out. The blue ones still have fuel in them, so this guy is two tanks here that still have fuel. But... Oh, they are those tanks. Good. It's dead. Wait, dead. hang on. I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna release the parachute before firing the other main rocket. <laughs> As you can see, this uh, ship wasn't designed very well. Oh, so it, and, it know, takes some thinking. Uh, I can, I can. Just, oh wow! I can go into the cockpit. You know, all this stuff. Like, there's the throttle there. This all does stuff. There's the planet over there. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. can, can you a, go if I can stage from inside the ship. Oh, oh, you can. Oh, wow. Everything's going fine. <laughs> yeah. See him screaming down there. <laughs> All right. Release the parachute. Fire the rocket. So, You're sort of that's just falling away. And if we look at the map, we can see uh, this blue... Forget all the others. Those are my other guys. Stable 4, Stable 4. These guys are all in orbit. And there's some debris in orbit as well. John Kennedy 3 debris. John Kennedy three stage. <laughs> John Kennedy three uh, is the guy who's lost. So as you can see here, we're headed upwards. Our orbit is increasing, but we're, like we're not in orbit. This little indicator points to the apoapsis, which is basically the peak. This is the highest you're going to get, and the apoapsis is getting further and further away, which kind of is good. 
We're getting higher and higher, but we don't have a lot of fuel. No. Actually, we do have a lot of fuel. Yep. Uh, Are you going to make but it? We're, we're not going to get into orbit because I should have, uh, you know, I should have done a, uh, a turn to actually point, like, at this point. Are you just going to end up shooting the engines I don't know, like, into space or something? I, I, considering the height I'm at, I really should. I want to see if I can stop this spin. There you go. Get it then. You can. You're actually taking. You're actually stabilizing it yourself. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I should be pointing below the horizon and doing a burn. I think. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Not the words you want to say from an astronaut. Are, are, are we making sure that we're keeping below 20 minutes on this? No. Anyway. So that's increasing or whatever. So when that gets to a stable point, yeah. And it never will. So let's just end this line. So they, I show you they the never make it. Yes, let's have a look at one that works. Now, considering the frame rate was bad for this guy, what's the frame rate going to be like for this other guy I've got? Well, we're about this to find out. Because this shit was that cog, cog box four, that twenty-nine cog box parts, four, four stages. Uh, I think John it Kennedy. Was Seventeen stages. Of them. Yeah, John Kennedy three or two. Which one's the one I want? John Ooh, Kennedy Junior. Let's try John Kennedy three. No, Junior was just uh, the landing module. I gave it a different name. I was testing struts out. So we're at the bottom of this guy. Oh just wow! Go up here. Huh? What the? It's you know it's a multi-stage moon vehicle that that doesn't sort of actually connect in the middle. No, it's connected. Connected by metal. That's metals, connected to the to the pipes. bell, and there's some struts for support. So we have a lot of solid rocket boosters down here. And they're attached by these little struts, and uh, there's some you know wing things for stability. They help control the thing. And I got uh, there's another engine in here. It, it looks like I might got, as well just launch it. Yeah, it looks like you got a little carried away with your rocket solid rockets. No, this thing's really heavy. Uh, wouldn't get off the ground. Wouldn't get into space if I didn't have enough rockets on it. <clears throat> I also learned that if you fire them all at once, the the impact destroys the ship. So you have Stress to impact, yeah. you have to stage them now because I have there's a radio thing. Is that green light near yeah. the top? That's the thing attached. I've got mods. Ooh, he's got mods. Uh, you can get mods for this. Yeah. So if I bring up the ascent autopilot mod, and I, it's, it's got it set to like orbit of a hundred kilometers. Uh, if I just turn that on, and yeah, the frame rate's really bad near the ground. I don't know. It shouldn't be. There's some bug with the game. It's in alpha. It's not finished yet. Okay. Uh, so the, the ascent autopilot is on. It's supposed to get me to an orbit altitude of a uh, hundred kilometers. You can change the path to change the turn if you want, you know. So we'll start to turn at 10,000 kilometers, we'll end at 70,000. Let's see if I can actually do this with the frame rate. Alright, so that should release and the first engine should come on. Any second now. Wait, oh, I'm, in, I'm in the edit box for that thing. Get out of the edit box. Oh, but hazard. Get out of the box. Alright. Engines are burning. Yeah, I got I got the second engines going. After the second engines go, it actually manages to take off, so it should be moving now. And it is moving. So right, let's set up another three. Those guys going. Let's set up another three. I can't even see that they're going yet. There we go. I also noticed that with a lot of these structural strut things, it, mm -hmm. it does it does kill the frame rate a little bit. But we're going to get rid of all these engines in a second, so it's cool. Be cool. As soon as these first ones burn out, I'm going to detach them. All the effort I put in designing this thing. <laughs> well, because they're just dead weight. By the next engine. That was very, very well rehearsed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I had to design this thing. This guy's firing now. We're at 9,000 meters. All that just to get to 9,000 meters. And uh, at 10,000, you'll see it start to controllably tilt. 
as it is now. And you can see the, the they're called control surfaces, the things that move about to aim, the wing things, basically. <clears throat> Which I believe... I don't know what the next thing I'm detaching is. I think it's the <laughs> wings. You, you see at the top there, there's like an atmosphere indicator. And we're still kind of really in the atmosphere. So mm -hmm. I don't want to get rid of the wings just yet. I'm not entirely sure when I should get rid of the wings, really. Yeah, they're twitching away there. They're supposed to be. But they'll always do that, even when there's no atmosphere. It's just uh, what it does. I'm going to get rid of the wings. There they go. Bye-bye. So we're doing pretty well. You can see this is designed to be it, to land on something. Yeah. Uh, there are deployable struts at the end of those weird wing... They're, they're actually wing connectors, but it's all I could find. Just to Use connect. what you can find, right? Yeah. This engine's about to burn out, so I'll get rid of that guy. Fire the next engines. There's These are solid rocket boosters, but also a nuclear engine is in the middle. The nuclear engine isn't actually nuclear, it's, it's powered by regular liquid fuel, but the, like, uh, in space, it doesn't have a lot of thrust, but it's really fuel efficient, so it's good for long journeys. It's the engine I like to use in space. Okay. And that's the and guy, it's glowing that's red, the guy it's in It's got the a glowing red yeah, effect you, with you overheating as well. it's overheating, and it's overheating actually because it doesn't normally overheat this quickly. These solid boosters around it are probably giving it a bit of heat, because they're actually putting it out higher up than that thing, you see what I mean. Where is the fuel for these guys? Oh, there it is. What? I'm confused. It says it's not using any fuel. Is this some sort of bug? Have I got unlimited fuel? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Hmm. Well, that's concerning. I think I know what's going on. It's not good. What? Well, there's a, there are fuel connections that allow these external engines, which aren't solid boosters, I was lying, to draw fuel from the central tank. And they're drawing from the central tank before drawing from anywhere else. And it's... Which isn't cool, but I think we'll probably get into all of it. But this, this vessel obviously needs a redesign. Why is the frame rate suddenly really bad? Because it's stuck. The frame rate should be great. We're in space. So Here's now guys. now it's coasting to apoapsis. Wow, why is the frame rate suddenly terrible? But we're almost in orbit. You see this blue line? Mm -hmm. Almost there. So we're going to coast... Have you been hit by the other debris? No. Space is really big. That never happens. <laughs> never. Ever, so ever. The likelihood of hitting the other, like, eight things that are in space... Oh, they said the other eight things. Well, There's quite right, a lot of one, debris two, three, stuck four, in five, orbit already. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, or something. You know, we zoom out a little bit. There's, there's that other the, thing. There's another bit there. This guy is. This is a guy who's, who's in a pretty wide orbit. This guy, I've got a guy. You got him all the way to the moon. Yep, that moon. You know, success one point three. One point three. They got there. They got there. Uh, keep going. There's another moon. There's the yeah. guys. I lost John Kennedy Jr. They're actually orbiting the sun now. They uh, they got away. Just a little bit. Come on, zoom out. And you know, there's the rest of the solar system. I think. So is that yeah, going to be your it. next step? That's Jupe. This Trying, is, is, is Jewel, sorry. Is that going to be your next step? Go to another planet? Oh, now the frame rate's great. Why did it go really shit for ages? No, my next step, which is what I'm trying to do with this ship, is land on the moon. See, now the frame rate's fine. What's going on? I don't know. This, this game, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, actually, if I bring up the orbital info, this is all part of the mod. But this mod is great. This is MechJev, I think it's called, this particular one. And if I, if I were to detach the module that has the computer in it, I'd lose all this. No more stuff. So I'm going to reach my apoapsis in oh, two minutes. So let's speed up time. So that I get there quicker. And you're there. You start to drift a little bit. Oh shit, I don't know. It's circularizing my orbit. So you go, oh, I'll get back to the planet. You'll see now we have uh, periapsis, which is the lowest point of the orbit. And that's about 99,000 
uh, kilometers. Apoaps is 100. We're in orbit. Cool. We're in orbit now. Now, because I'm using like a different... Stop turning. Nope. It'll figure itself out. Or it won't. I don't know. Because I'm using a different resolution than usual. There are more controls. Smart control things. That are, on there. That are hidden off the side of the screen. Uh. And they're really cool because they let me do stuff like... Um, point towards retrograde. Which is kind of what I'm doing now. Even though I don't really want to be. That's how you get out of orbit. And... It would be really useful if I could use that right now because I want to try and shoot for the moon. You know? And I have to manually aim the ship. <laughs> which is. Oh, now the frame rate's shot down again. But I need to stop turning when I reach that. <laughs> I'm not sure. See, I don't remember which. Oh, that's the wrong control. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's impossible to fly this thing with such a bad frame rate because I can't tell what my actual input is doing to it. Like, am I doing? Am I pressing the wrong button or the right button? I think I'm pressing the right button now. There you go. Up is down, down is up. Space is stupid. I think the ship is actually <laughs> upside down. Let me turn the ship so it's the right way up. See my solar panels mm -hmm. getting power or not getting power. That's a mod as well. Z oxygen or something. I think it's called. Why does my SAS not actually do anything? Who my knows? SAS should be keeping me. When I, when I turn it on, it should be keeping me locked, pointing in a certain direction. Of course, the ship then, like, because the ship is still pointing in the same direction, but the actual planet has moved. Oh, look, there's some debris 50 kilometers away. I think that's debris. <laughs> that's not debris. <laughs> there's a clever trick for getting to the moon, which is to wait until it comes up over the horizon and then do a burn, and you'll get there. Something to do with being in a 100 kilometer orbit. I don't know. Otherwise, you have to do maths. So which... maths. Let's face it, it was never your strong point. No, and I don't even know what maths to do either. Just keep the moon in the window. <laughs> I don't actually know. The moon might be in the window. The frame rate's in the window. Now I can't tell. Oh wait, I'll get this back here. This is way harder than it is. Oh, that's the wrong one. So, no. I don't see the moon. Do you see the no. moon? <laughs> you can't keep no, it in the window. I don't see anything. This guy, this guy is actually on, on a seat behind the other guys. Okay, so then. He can't see anything at all. Anyway, I'm probably pointing in way the wrong direction now. Where's the moon? I think it's a bit late, isn't it? Let's get out here. Let's bring this gimbal up. How is this going to go when I start burning? Oh, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> That's not good. You see how my apoapsis is increasing? Mm -hmm. And it, should, it will keep increasing. The ship's spinning uncontrollably right now. I'm trying to keep in this window so that I can actually reach the moon. Keep it going. I don't mind spinning. You can spin all you like. It'll it'll tell me when I get into the grasp of the moon. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. oh, there we go. There's a bit of frame rate issues there, and I almost lost the moon. <laughs> so, in six hours, there will be a moon encounter or a moon encounter. A, mo a moon. And then I will I will enter like this orbit of the moon. <clears throat> See how the ship's doing. Just, just spinning. Just, just hanging there. I've had problems in the past where because the yes, the solar panels have been in the way like the Earth was in the not the Earth the Kerbal 
was in the way of the yeah. solar panels between the, the sun and so the uh, oxygen almost ran out but then thankfully the sun came up you can speed up time faster and faster as you get further out I should, probably shouldn't it's also kind of laggy I've missed the moon before because I sped it up and then the system hasn't slowed it down quick enough for me to actually get into control again and you missed the See moon how the moon's headed towards me Like that's where the yeah. moon's going to be I just imagine in the two three hours, three actual hours. If I didn't speed up, three actual hours. Three. Forty-seven minutes. A second. A little less than forty. Really. Success one point three is really close to this. <laughs> now he'll be fine. He, he, like the, the odds of two small things hitting each other. So I don't remember what to do at this point. I think I have to do a retrograde burn to slow myself down and get into orbit. Because at the moment I'm going to fly out of... Like, the moon will control me up to this point and then I will escape the moon and God knows what will be... You'll be off in the galaxy. Who knows what I'll be orbiting then. You're, you're going to go meet John, John Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, he's out there. <laughs> he's out there somewhere. There's three of them so they have someone to talk to. <laughs> Whatever's in one of them dies. None of them are gonna die. Almost there now. And you're there. So where's the moon? Oh there it is. What no I had it. Nope, the moon is gone. There it is. So I think I'm in this now. This is my orbit. It's turned blue because this is my actual so I need to point, essentially, because what's happening right now is I'm headed towards the moon, and the moon's headed towards me. And, well... And, like, we're not going to hit, but I'm not going to... Wait, I want to go up and to the right, because I want to go down and to the right, because it's space wave. Okay. Maybe if I turn this thing around a little bit. Right, back to the map. <clears throat> Zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that'll probably be fine, right? <laughs> I'm I'm close enough. It's not an exact science. These I've never used engines these this powerful. I think I might be out of fuel. Right, well there's no fuel left. <laughs> so you're just gonna So that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might as well just uh kill these guys. Their solar panels are on like this section. I can just detach. Oh no, that's the engines. <laughs> oh wait, I'll, I'll lower the landing struts. There we go. Now we're going to land. We don't need those either. I was going to get rid of them when I was taking off again. We don't need the rest of the module. We can get by. So there's batteries now. So there's uh, batteries on here. This guy's going on EVA. Where's the ship going? And the ship has gone. This guy has a jetpack, but I don't know what the button is to actually make the jetpack work. I know he has a light. See, I can turn his light on. So he's just there drifting into space now. With can smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, he's good. So that's Kerbal. You know, there's loads of mods out there. I think it's something that's like, it's like £15. It's an awesome game. I've had loads of fun with it. I want to get to the moon. I want to land on the moon. I want to walk around. I want to get back in my ship and get back and get back to the planet. Uh, I want to build satellites and things. There's like mods you can get that put like a satellite image mapper on so you can map the surface of a world as you're going around it. There's everything. This, this game has everything. It, it looks pretty awesome. And if I knew how to get this guy's jetpack to work. Oh, that's the map. No, that's. I don't. I keep forgetting that's the camera button. That's the camera button. Oh, there we go. Oh. There's one problem now, though. Where's right. the ship? <laughs> right, there it is. Let's, let's get back over there. Oh, shit. He's actually heading for it as well. Maybe we can get him get back to on the board. ship. Can you do I'm it? not sure how to go downwards. 
Really, he needs to go down a little bit. Do you think... Oh, it's the same as it would be... There you go. That's not the front of the ship. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. No, wait, that's up. There we go. He's back on board. Hooray! I can spin it. <laughs> so, like, there's no thrusters on here. I shouldn't be able to spin this thing. And yet I can. I can spin it. I can topple it. I can release the chute. I think I released the chute. I don't yep. think it works. Because it's still closed. But there you go. Let's go. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Everything's fine here. Keep the moon in the window. We'll be fine. <laughs> We're not headed towards it anymore. 